Hey YouTube, it's Craig here and I'm back with a new video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the Pelican Twist, which is another entry-level fountain pen that's also very affordable. So let's check out this pen. All right, guys, today we are talking about the Pelican Twist fountain pen, which is an entry-level model from Pelican. And this pen, I believe, is intended for kids to kind of learn how to hold the pen the correct way. There is no real correct way of holding a pen. It's whatever is the most comfortable to you, but you're gonna check out this pen. It comes with a long international ink cartridge. Here's the pen, it has a little sticker on it. Pelican made in Germany. Top of the finial has the Pelican logo. Bottom, it does say Germany and Pelican. And this is a resin pen. It says Pelican on the side. There's just a snap cap. Here you have this rubber grip that is supposed to be comfortable for both right-handed users or left-handed users. There weren't any other real options. It was just medium. There's no breather hole on it. You just have the Pelican logo on there and M for medium. There's the feed. And I don't like that you can see the little remnants of the rubber on here. This is a rubber grip. And I mean, look, you can see the injection molded dot there. It is a entry level pen, but the quality on here as far as how the grip was molded is not the nicest. It's actually fine being posted. It is a larger pen with no clip on it. The thing that kind of irks me a little bit is if you do post it, the twist in it just looks strange. The other thing that kind of bothers me is it will not sit flat with the nib like that. It, it is always at an angle. As far as the filling system goes, it comes with one blue cartridge, and as far as getting a converter goes, you can buy a converter separately, but it costs $11. That's almost half the price of the pen just for the converter. This is a Pelican C499 converter, but I think for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use the cartridge. So we will just insert that in, puncture it. It's secure in there. It's just a little bit of wiggle in there. It feels good if you have this grip. If I use my other grip, it's it's also kind of fine. This sharp part right here kind of does jut into my thumb a little bit, but it feels nice. It's just if you don't have if you don't have a standard grip, it's not going to be the best if you hold the pen in a different way. There's no need for a clip. I mean, it, the whole thing is a giant roll stop. It will not roll away. So very strange pen. We're going to see how it writes, and yeah, now let's get to a writing sample. It feels already just a little, I don't know. It feels like, it feels a little sluggish, but this is the first time using it, the first time riding with it. If you really push down, you can get some line variation, but you know, it's just a medium steel nib. It feels all right. I think the Lamy Safari is a little bit smoother than this. It's very similar as far as the gripping feels. It's comfortable. It just, you can imagine this kind of getting worn down over time. Wetness. Pretty average. Reverse. Pretty smooth. Good reverse. That's the problem with this pen is, you know, there's no comfortable way of really holding it in reverse. 
Granted, you wouldn't really be doing that all the time, but it's, it's awkward to hold this pen any other way other than the way that it's supposed to be held. Do I recommend this pen? Pretty much not at all. I mean, it's, I think it's intended for kids and it's to teach them the proper way of holding a pen. It comes in a lot of fun colors. Of course, I picked the one in the least fun color, which is just black and gray, but I think you can do better, especially for that price. I think it's overpriced for what it is. You know, the Lamy Safari didn't have any of these sort of quality issues with the injection molded plastic. That's just sloppy, you know? And I know it's a very entry level pen intended for kids to use it and beat it up and all that. For this price, buy a Lamy or save your money and get a real Pelican. And that's the video. Thanks so much for checking it out, you guys. If you have any questions about the pen, go and leave a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content like this and check out my Instagram at Craig Rocanova and we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace. Oh,